Rebirth for you. I really hope that's just an expression and no one actually gets reborn in here because at this point, the multiple lifetime theme in dramas should just take a break. So if I could describe this first episode in one word, it would be random. Random things just keep happening so the main characters can have physical contact. Now the setup may look complicated at first, but it really isn't. Everything begins with this innovation contest where people bring in cool inventions and all that. Our female lead is one of those people. The thing is, she's a princess, so it's not really appropriate for her to compete. Which I'm not really against. Because if this girl thinks it's okay to do woodwork with long sleeves and hair let down like that, then the only contest she's qualified for is a beauty contest. And not even the talent round. So the next day, she goes out trying to find a way to get one of those permission tickets in this outfit with those same hair ornaments to, you know, blend in better. At this point, she comes across the male lead because why not? Who's also gonna be in this competition? They got into a little misunderstanding, there was some tango involved, and the point is, they both end up not having permission tickets for the contest. <laughs> so the lady in charge comes up with a solution for them both, a small test. <laughs> Now the princess pulls out a tiny basket she just happens to be carrying around this whole time and does her thing. As random as that is, I'm gonna give her credit because her way has to do with physics, which is the essence of this contest. And because, guess what the male lead does? He throws the egg down the normal way and jumps after it. And it works because he just happens to be faster than the egg's falling speed. Yeah, you know what, drama? If you really want people to believe that your male lead has some other skills to make up for his lack of creativity, you should have done that with a real egg. If you're gonna CG the egg onto his shoulders, then what is even the point? Anyway, while waiting for the contest to begin, the princess encounters another guy who never seems to be able to stop smiling. Now, after the contest, in which we don't actually see any of the inventions work except for this toy fish, the result is announced, and it is as you guess. Well, what are the odds? Now, there are more tests, of course, but rest assured, nothing is ever explained. Everything is just as random as this episode has been. It's just jumping around, more jumping around, more smiling and a scene that makes you want to watch National Treasure again. <laughs> 